<laughs> What's he unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It feels like it's been ages. It's been, well, exactly a week and 700 miles since I last did a video. Um, and wow, what a video I'm about to do. I moved my whole life to Tennessee and here we are, my new setup. It's just starting out. I'm going to fill these shelves. It's going to be a whole other video as I open and do the most mega unboxing I've ever done where I unbox an entire library and fill these shelves one delicate volume at a time. I'll talk a bit on my live streams about what the move was like. I'll do a moving video, all that stuff. I'm not going to clutter up this video with that nonsense. I wanted to christen this house with the best possible vibes and unleash that here. So this was the last Sun Tup book to arrive at my old address and I just shuttled it off, didn't even look at it, open it until right now. Here we are. And do you know the amount of willpower it took for me to resist even an eensy teensy little peek at the book? It was, it was phenomenal. I, I'm not saying I deserve an award or I'm a hero or like a Nobel Prize should be considered for me. But, you know, I mean, that wouldn't be uh, disproportionate to the effort it took for me to not even peek at this holiest of grails. Now, you know this book. I love this book. I've been ranting about this book. Just the fact that Sun Tup did this book was a gift from heaven like that that was all i could have dared to hope for i ordered the numbered i ordered two artist editions i think david lupton just knocked it out of the park i don't ever want to do a baseball thing again but i just did it so now i've checked that box we don't have to do that again but just the fact that paul suntup gave this book the the treatment it deserves out into the world was was enough but then when he surprised me with a lettered edition of this book i i i i mean this is just there are no words there aren't no words this was a book i i thought i made a joke on the channel that if i got to ten thousand subscribers producer jill would let me buy it and um that was yeah that wasn't gonna happen <laughs> Ten thousand subscribers i'd love that and i still hope to do that i think we need to dream big you know otherwise nothing ever comes of it and i'm still working hard on it you know now that i've moved and i can start to focus more attention on the channel you'll see a lot more content but um i never dreamed i'd be able to get this book and and paul wrote me an email and he said I, I Once I landed the contract for this book, I knew I had to gift you the lettered edition. Um, and it's mind-blowing. So I will try not to get emotional and shed big man tears. Uh, although it is good for beards. Uh, uh, the saline and the chemical, they go into, the, they, they uh, moisturize the beard hair follicles. So it's a fact.
But before we begin, let us check in with the Magic Duff Bucket, as we do. What have you got for me today, Magic Duff Bucket? Oh, okay, uh, rum and coke. Fine. Kraken rum in, in my Kraken cup, which is cool. It's cool. It's a rum and coke. I needed a little something. I forgot my final Jeff Word stout. It is currently 700 miles away in my other house um, that I'm going to sell. So if you want to buy a house and an escape, you know, I'll sell them to you. You get you get like the Jeff Terry starter life pack right right now. And you know what? If you buy the house at a good price, I'll throw in the escape. I mean, that's good, but this was supposed to be perfection. And it was about, I don't know, 610 miles into my trip when I realized I left that final Jeff Ward Stout in my refrigerator. So Mitch, this video was this close to perfect. Um, and uh, I'm going to have to hit you up so and give you my new address so we can get hooked up with some proper beverages in Tennessee. So... Cheers, rum and coke. It's a distant second. Really, it's it's all I had in the house, new house. So anyway, let's get to the book. Whew. This book is full leather binding. Covered in tie dye lambskin. Printed offset on premium mohawk via paper. Enclosed in a clamshell container made with uh, Japanese and European cloth with velvet floors. Uh, the font Suntup picked for this book is perfect. Bonkers perfect. Here it is, Patrick McCabe, the butcher boy. I, I can't believe I'm just... I seriously can't believe I even have the bookmark in my hand right now. I don't know. The illustrations by David Lupton are pitch perfect. As somebody who's read the book multiple times, the first time I saw those illustrations, I'm like, this guy's a genius. There's yeah. I, I, I'm not going to show it to you cloth. in the bag. Uh, no, I may no. pass out. On the edges. Oh, I may. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Patrick McCabe. Signed by David Lupton, Patrick McCabe. Wow. I think that's a leather this, this label. Opens. Oh, my God. And there, there are the velvet floors. Oh, that is so trippy. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, man. This is... Wow. Wow. Look at this book. It is so soft. If you felt this, it's like, it is so unbelievably soft. It's like butter. And I love the way that that rail is really defined. Uh, way it, it gives that spine, that curve to the spine, and creates that definition. I love that Haunting of Hill House is is pretty much identical to that curve. Wow. Oh man. I I had no idea from the photos how it would feel 
it, it looked like it'd be fuzzy, but this is full leather. Um, and uh, it's an embossed spine. The title on the spine is embossed there. Wow. Oh, the end sheets are handmade acid-free Mexican Mayan paper. And that looks like blood. That just absolutely looks like dried blood right there. Wow. I, I'd have to say these are my favorite end sheets of of all the Santa books. Um, uh, Haunting of Hill House had insanely awesome end sheets, as did um, The Road. A lot of them do. A lot of them are stellar, and I'm sure I'll look at them as I repopulate my shelves with the Sun Tuff books, and I'll give them another look, and I'll see um, what they look like again and refresh my memory. I'm sure I'll say, oh, but these, I should have mentioned this end paper. Um, wow. And it's very, very thick. Look at that. It's very thick. The Butcher Boy. Oh, man. There's David Lupton art. Like I said, that the font, the font choices for this are stellar. The new introduction by Patrick McCabe. I've got, I'm dying to read it. Um, oh. Oh, man. I, I have, I, ah, uh, I'm getting lost in the book already. I know that's the worst thing to do for video content is just to be staring at the book. Um, but <laughs> I, I don't know how you could blame me. This is, this is a religious, religious moment for me. I, I had just wanted Sun Tup to do the book. Oh, here it is. Patrick McCabe. And David Lupton signature. There's a sig sheet. Amazing. Oh man, I am. I am. Like I said, it's been a murderous week for me. I can't show you the last piece of art in the book, even though I'd love to. It's it's an amazing piece of art, but it would spoil too much. So I will show you others. I had the absolute divine pleasure of interviewing Patrick McCabe and David Lupton for this book. I love the page design. Oh, this book is just perfection. There's Francie and Dad. Oh, man. Um, this book is beautiful, brilliant, and, and, and this production just... Oh my God, I, I cannot thank Paul Suntup enough for doing this book, for believing in the book, for producing it with such passion, and then gifting me a lettered edition. It, it's, 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 it's more than I could ever repay. Um, seriously, it is, it, it's like winning all the awards <laughs> and uh but it's not about me it's 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 about the book and this oh, is amazing this is truly amazing now earlier in the week there was one available now i don't know why that happened but there was one available so somebody canceled their order and um it became available for a little while. Well, I just checked. It was sold out again. So you cannot buy these um, direct from Suntup anymore. Only 26 were made. Of course, this is a PC, so this falls outside. Those 26, but we understand how that uh, overrun is necessary in case there are damaged copies, etc. And um, and yeah, I'm, I don't know what my next thought was going to be because I'm holding this book. And it's sort of wiping the hard drive. It's like erasing the, you know, words and thoughts. 
but um, thank you, Paul, and and everybody at Suntup for doing honor to such books. This was a book that needed it, and Suntup did it, brought it to the world in immaculate perfection. I and I, I hope for whoever is out there enjoying. Patrick McKay books. He's a brilliant, he's a literary giant. Um, we got one, you know, we, we got it. We got a Patrick McKay book um, and we got the Patrick McKay book. And so um, I, I'm very happy and very proud that this book has been built and made. And um, I'm probably going to stop talking at some point and, um, and get to it. So all I could say is welcome to Tennessee. Thank you for anybody who's followed me from the very beginning and has seen this moment. This is a really defining moment for me. Um, brand new house, brand new world, and a whole new outlook. And just starting it off with this, this is like the absolute best housewarming gift ever. Um, I'm going to thank Paul and team a third time. Uh, and, and they'll never stop. I'll never stop. This is absolutely amazing. So there it is. Um, a sun top lettered that I totally do not deserve, but I'm humbled. So thank you. Thank you. I'll do the photo thing at the end. Um, but it's just, this means a tremendous amount. Um, I feel like there should be more I should say but I've run out I'll catch you next time until then whether you're driving everything you own through blinding thunderstorms in the middle of the night to get to your new life or you get covered in ticks at some point no matter what life throws at you have a book have a beer. Stay frosty. Thank you.